Hey, I'm still being asked the question, are you still working? Are you still selling houses? And are people still buying them? And are they still listing them? The answer to all those questions is yes, yes, and yes. We are an essential service. I spoke about that last time. We are still an essential service. So we are still working albeit with very different conditions. Currently, as legislation stands today, on the 3rd of April, we are allowed to show people houses, even though it is only one at a time, which means no open homes. If you are inquiring on one of my listings, please make sure you've had a good look at it online and that you are ready to purchase before you request an inspection just so that we can minimize face-to-face -face contact. Now, another thing is no agent can give financial advice. Uh, we are not here to advise you as to what the market's doing and how it's gonna go. And I'd be very careful about taking advice from anyone unless they physically went through the plagues in Egypt back in Moses' day. Because nobody in the modern era, except perhaps somebody that's in their 90s now or over 100 who may have come across Spanish flu, can really advise you on what you should or should shouldn't do when it comes to buying a property. But let's look at things as they stand today. Bricks and mortar have always been a very solid investment. At this stage, it's certainly returning more than money in the bank. Of course, that can always change. Um, you can get a return on a property as long as it has a tenant in it, whereas you don't get a return on a bar of gold. So these are all the things that you need to have a look at and you need to seek your own financial advice when it comes to purchasing a property. But what I can tell you is now is a good time to purchase property. You're not having to be one of many at open homes hustling and jostling the way and hustling to get the best offer in front of an agent. So now could be that time that you think, wow, that was a good window of opportunity. On a personal note, somebody very close to me bought a property just before the elections were called. It was a great property. I couldn't understand why it hadn't sold. We had a lot of interest, but we had no offers. And this particular person close to me was able to buy a property for a very fair market price in very good conditions that worked in his favor as a buyer, certainly not in the seller's favor. But that was just a moment in time. And within days of this person signing the contract, things changed, Scott Morrison got in, the negative gearing laws were eradicated or they weren't passed, the new proposed laws. And as a result, guess what? We sold six or seven properties in that week. So things can change in a heartbeat. Things have radically changed in our country. Things can flip back. Nobody has a crystal ball. Only God knows the future, okay? So I cannot advise you on what you should be doing. All we can do is take one day at a time and look at everything as it stands today. Not tomorrow, not last week, not three weeks ago. All we can do is look at today and focus on what we have right now. So I can't give you any financial advice. I can give you property advice as best I can based on today. So that's where we stand. I wish you well and I hope to see some of you if you would like a one-on-one -on -one inspection on a property and you're very serious about buying, by all means, you're welcome to send me a message. Take care and stay safe and stay home.